Okay, this is our first video. Um, what I'm going to show you in this video is how to set up Maya, um, how to change the attributes and tools and in your geometry. Uh, the first thing that we see in Maya is that there's a lot going on. What we want to use is this tab should always be set to polygons. You see if I switch it between animation and polygons, the top menu bar changes. So we need the menu to be changed to polygons to allow us to use some of the tools. Also this tab here should also be set to polygons. Uh, don't use surfaces or subdivisions but only polygons. And we can start making cubes and everything to do with that. Okay, so this is our viewport here in the middle. As you can see I can draw a marquee and select anything. There's nothing in the scene at the minute but if, I, if there was I could select it by drawing the marquee. I can control the camera by grabbing this cube, move it around, or I can tap the front, go to the front, left, side. If I ever get lost, all I have to do is click the home screen, and it'll set the camera back to where it originally was. Now, I like using this, but there's a better way. If you hold Command or the Apple key, you can press the left mouse and you can orbit around freely doing that. You can press the middle button and you can pan around or you can use the right button on your mouse and you can zoom in and out. You can also use the scroll wheel to zoom in out as well. Okay, so let's make our first cube. So to make a cube, we just click the cube icon here at the top. You can also go create polygon primitives and cube there, but I like grabbing it there. And we'll just scale it the base first, let go, click again, now we can set the height. So there's the height. Right, so this is in wireframe mode. Wireframe mode is where you see only the points, the edges, but the polygons in the middle aren't shaded. Now we can go into shaded mode by pressing 5, or we can press the blue icon here at the top. So I can do many things with this polygon. I can move it by pressing W. Grab the red one, moves it side to side, blue, or I can grab the middle and move it in every direction. I can press E, which will rotate it. Again, by grabbing each colored icon, I'm rotating it at a certain axis, but if I grab the middle, I can rotate it in every which way I want. I can press R, scale it in, or press Y to scale it in every direction. Or if you can't remember those short keys of W, E, R, W for move, E for rotate, and R for scale, you can actually find these over on the side. So there's move, rotate, and scale. Now the next thing that we can do is we can actually go into the attributes of this cube by clicking the attributes folder up in the top right. Now the attributes change depending on what's selected. So if I had a light selected, it would have the attributes for the light. If I had a curve selected, it would have the attributes for that curve. So let's just click that. So you can see it's given all these attributes, even like there's loads of tabs here at the top. So it's got a material at the minute called Lambert. But let's go to Polycube 1. And in Polycube 1, I can actually go down, change the width and height to the attributes here and I can actually subdivide it. So I can add in more and more edges, more and more points, which creates more and more polygons. And the more polygons you have, the more detail you can make an object. So that's the attributes editor. Let's get rid of that. Next thing is our select tool here at the top. If I double click that, tool settings will come up. So I can change my selection tool from a marquee to drag, which paints it on. If I want to select faces, points, or edges, I can simply hold my right mouse button down. I can select edge, vertex, or face. At the minute I'm going to go for face. Face means polygons as well. You see in a marquee, I'm going to have to singularly select these. If I drag a box, 
that will select it where that box falls but if I look behind it's also selecting these ones that weren't in my view and sometimes you don't want that so I can use the drag option the drag option will come up with a paintbrush where I can paint on which polygons I want to have selected so sometimes it's a lot easier to use and again I can press W and I can move these up press E I can rotate these or I can press R and I can scale them in and remember if you do make a mistake by moving a polygon where you don't want it to be moved just press Z and use the undo button so in my selection tool settings I can use soft select also this soft select allows me to gradually move objects around my actual selection so if I move that up you can see it's actually moving polygons and edges that are quite close to my axis selection and slowly it falls off so these ones won't be move, moving as much as the rest of them. Okay. Um, the last thing that you have to do and should be actually the first thing you do once you open Maya is to set up a project folder. You can do this by going to File, Project and New. Once you've done that, just use defaults. Browse for a location. I'm just going to use my desktop. And name it. So I'm going to name this my uh, project. And throughout the year, this is a project folder that you're going to be using for every object you make. Every texture that you create, you put it into the source images folder which is or the textures actually you can put it in the textures other source images into the source images all your scenes should be saved in the scenes and any reference images into your images so that means for every project throughout the year doesn't matter if you're setting up a new model you use this project folder and we just accept that so once that's set up at the start of every lesson, every new lesson from there on, as soon as you open Maya, you should go File, Project, and Set. Find your project folder, choose that one, and set that folder. So that means now Maya knows exactly where all your scenes are, all your textures, and all your reference images. So it never loses them, never disconnects the textures from your models. So you never lose or have to work harder to get all your textures back on.